Right, the guide to cooking a perfect steak, hot pan. The secret here is to make sure that we literally sear the steak and not boil it. Season it first, beautifully done. Get some nice large grains of pepper, so you've got a nice bit of heat. Mop up all that seasoning and sort of push in. The foremost important part is to make sure you take them out of the fridge 20 minutes before you actually start cooking them. Cooking a steak that's stone cold in the center, you're gonna have to overcook it on the outside. Pan's just started smoking. Touch of oil in, all that round. And then just lay the steaks away, always away from me. And let the pan do the work. That's the kind of noise you want to hear in the pan every time. That nice sear.
Literally 30 seconds in the pan, you can see the colour. Beautiful. That layer of fat on the back of the sirloin. You want to render that down as well. That's it there. So, hit that into the pan. Use the pan to your advantage. Tilt the pan, let all that hot fat, olive oil run down the back, and it starts to sear the steak even better. You put a little bit of garlic in. A nice little flavour of the steaks. It doesn't need to be peeled. You just lightly crush and then that gives a really nice flavour to the steak. Turning every minute. We've got that nice This is where the steak starts to take on a completely different flavour. Tilt the pan and then just baste the steaks. Put a little bit of garlic in. Nice little flavour of the steaks. It doesn't need to be peeled. You just lightly crush them in. That gives a really nice flavour to the steak. Turning every minute to get that nice even colour. Tonight, a Brownsville family is pleading for help from the public to find their family member who has been missing since Friday. CBS 4's Michelle Vargas tells us about the search. We gave it some time, and then 24 hours later, then we were, you know, we were already panicking. And Sunday came, and Monday came, and Tuesday came, so, you know, something is off. Ramiro Avila, better known by his family and friends as Junior or Kimberly, never came home after getting dropped off in downtown Brownsville Friday evening. He, he left at a certain hour, but he always came back at a certain hour. Very, very predictable. And um, when he didn't arrive, 
Saturday morning, we knew something was a bit strange. The Avila family filed a missing person report, and the family is still waiting for some answers on his whereabouts. While Brownsville police tell us that they have not received any leads and continue searching for him. And Stakes are going to be ten times better than last year. Good night, my friend. Base the steaks. That fried thyme, that garlic, nothing's burning, and that's why we started off with olive oil. Get the garlic, the sort of brush. Hello? Hey, Mike. Nah, you just a man I wanted to talk to. Yeah, we're still on for dinner? You know I'm making my world famous steaks. Yeah? Alright, no problem. Eight o'clock, right? Alright, excellent, excellent. What? Oh, no. No, that's not a problem. Definitely not a problem. Please bring her. Bring her. That'll be fine. Okay. All right, sounds good. Okay, bye. <laughs> Looks like it's about time to refill that freezer. Chef needs a good maitre d'. So he is here to help facilitating our dining tonight. So, on the menu tonight, we have roasted red potatoes, asparagus, and steak. So, I'll be right back with your drinks. Sounds good. you have your drinks. How's everybody doing? You doing okay? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, everything going good so far, man. Uh, I just got this promotion at my job. No yeah. way! Congratulations! Yeah. Excellent. That is awesome. So, like, what's with the dog? Uh, well, he's my maitre d', so basically every good chef have to have somebody in the front of the house that seats their people and make sure that they're comfortable. So basically that's what his job is. Right, and right. since I'm a bachelor and an up and coming chef, I don't have a maitre d' to hire, so I kind of just rely on him. Okay. Yeah. 
it, it, he's fine. Don't worry about him. He's harmless. What kind of wine is this? Uh, it's Bordeaux. Okay. It's red wine. Um, hopefully it's a good year. Should have been still and, and, and good for you. It's kind of tasty, actually. Yeah? Thank you. Awesome. So that should really go with the steaks that I have prepared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the steaks for you guys. I have steak, asparagus, and roasted red potatoes. Should be a really good menu tonight. Oh yeah, that sounds pretty good. Awesome. So we have roasted red potatoes, asparagus, and steak. Thank you. It's on the menu. Yes, sir. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Yeah. So the dolls eating too? Oh yeah. You know I, I like to make food for everyone. He's my maitre d' after all. I am a bachelor, so might as well share food. Okay. So, everything was good? Yes, it was tasty. It was good? Yeah, it's pretty All good. All right, because yeah. I'm opening up my restaurant really soon, and I'm hoping to put this on the menu. So, you think this could be an item that people would buy? Yeah, it tastes great, actually. All right, guys. Well, I know it's past Thanksgiving, but uh, how about we say everything we're thankful for? I'm thankful for that new promotion. Um, hey, my new house, name. of course. Excellent. Uh, also, my beautiful girlfriend right here. <laughs> what are you thankful for? Thankful for my family, friends, my job, and just living in general, you know. Very nice. That's amazing. Let's hear from Jarvis. So, Jarvis, what are you thankful for? What you got, bud? <laughs> no, <laughs> no way. That was mine. No, no, you stole mine. That was mine. I was going to do that. That was mine. No, that was supposed to be mine. <laughs> okay, I'll let you have it. Okay, I'll, okay, you can keep it. He said he's thankful for all the good friends and all the good food because at the end of the day, they're all one and the same. So I'll let you have that one, Jarvis. <laughs> you sly dog. That was going to be mine. I was like, man, that is too generalistic. I shouldn't have eaten. All right, guys, I uh, notice everybody's eating their food. Uh, would you like some coffee? Yes, that's my first. Yeah, sure, yeah. why not? All right, I'll be right back. Excellent. Oh, no, we're good. You sure? Mm -hmm. All right. Babe, did that dog just move? Come on, baby, it's a dog. You sure? For sure, we're good. I feel like someone just seemed to move. We're good. Trust me. There you go, man. Yeah, it's coffee. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me get a towel. Okay, alright. You okay? It's cool, man. It's cool. Okay, it's cool. let me get a towel. It's good. Uh, I, no, I got you. I got you. I definitely got you. I have a tool for everything. We'll definitely get that spill cleaned up. So where was that spill again? My dad used to take me camping, fishing, all that outdoorsy stuff. And the one thing that he taught me was, was to eat what you kill. I always wondered, why are we out here in the wilderness without nothing to eat? He'd be hungry. I'd be hungry. <laughs> 
We'd be both going hungry. But he always made sure that I knew the value of a life. And the value of a life is sustenance. Because if one goes hungry, the other one eats. Thus is nature. <laughs> Isn't nature beautiful? So you and your boyfriend here, eventually, be one of my guests in my restaurant. But probably not the way you think. <laughs> mm. I have a lot of guests in my restaurant. This guy here. Oh yeah. Delicious. Oh, he was meaty. He had a lot of weight on him. This guy here. <laughs> if I could tell you a liver could taste any better. Mmm. Delicious. This one here. Was a drug addict. But I will tell you what. Legs were delicious. <laughs> oh, she was my first. That's why she's in the newspaper. I have uh, the rings, a couple of trinkets. Would you like to take a look? Can you see? See some of them? No? You'll be in this box soon. Don't worry. You'll be a delectable man. But first. <laughs> First, I'm going to make sure you know the rules. And the rules are, basically, you have to kill and you have to eat. And you have to eat what you kill. So unfortunately, your boyfriend's already done. So next, if you're not gay, <laughs> then I'm sorry. You will be next. <laughs> Two more for my collection. Season is good. Harvest was so good. <laughs> My dad would be so proud of me. We got two this time, Jarvis. We normally only get one. <laughs> mm. If only they knew. Mm. Thank you, Jarvis. Delicious.